it is about this place, but it just really makes the magic of Paris come to life. Yum! So guys, I am like running to this fashion show. I'm super late. Do you see it there? It's content, baby content. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tiff. I'm an American living in Paris. And right now I'm on Champs-Elysees checking out Arc de Triomphe wrapped. And I believe the artist is actually known for wrapping buildings like this. Apparently you can like go up to it, touch the fabric, but I don't know if I'm gonna do all that because uh, crossing the street right here is really scary. There are just so many cars, but it's a really cool art installation. So many people are out right now checking this out, but um, I'm really glad I came to see it. and I'll put the link in my description if you want to read more about um, this installation. And now I think I'm gonna head to a cafe, chill, sit, journal for a bit, um, and just see where the day takes me. Hello, it's been a minute, my fellows. I've been trying to make my name well known. First they was telling me get the hit on. Now I get the room jumping higher than the cell on. Just jiggle they melons. Catch me in your city, really my bus kind of swell on. Bando begging out your flick up their drums. You listen, put it on my chip run. My city gon' love it. Flocking for the feature that's gon' put you over budget. Hold up, shout out Jermaine. I just want my shot to play. All the miserable days when all of my vision were great. Trying to follow my heart, result of minimal pay. I'm starting to separate because my love propelling my way. <laughs> So I really wanted to sit at this cafe, but it looks like the terrace is completely full. Um, but let's see, unless anyone's getting up to leave soon, which it does not look like it. Looks like people are all just chilling right now. Yay, I made it, they had a seat for me. I don't know if I'll be able to take pictures here though, because it's super crowded. I don't know if I'll be able to self shoot, but I made it here. I think I'm just gonna order a drink and maybe a snack. I'm not starving, but it feels so good just to be out on a terrace. Had a really cute one too. And I was shocked because it's like a Friday afternoon. It's like three, well, almost four. Um, but yay, this is exactly what I wanted today. Um, and I just ordered a crepe of that Nutella. I know I'm on one with the crepes right now. And uh, some chamomile tea. Um, just wanted something light and easy, but this is exactly what I wanted for today, honestly. I'm so happy. richer, I'm so consistent cuz head doctors ain't free dog. I'm telling you, I did level up. My propellers put me head of you. I circle back after I finish watch me winning. Hold up. Tell me what it feel like. I've been on the road but I still right. I've been missing home when it been like. I've been getting on and it feel right. I hope And I literally just pulled out my um iPhone tripod. So I'm about to self shoot a bit. This thing comes in handy. It really does. Okay, let's try. This is literally how I self shoot. Look. Do you see it there? And then I have my clicker. Okay, so I just finished my little self shoot session and I got a bunch of pictures. You guys would literally die laughing if you saw me trying to self shoot, but here are some of the pictures. And of course, I'll edit them later. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. Also, I really hope you can hear me. It's kind of loud in here. Content, baby content. Okay. 
Oh, that was so nice. I'm so glad I sat there for a bit. Um, oh, days like today just make Paris feel so magical, honestly. I, I needed a day like this for sure. And now I am on my way to the Louvre, which is another one of my favorite spots to just sit and chill. So I'm on my way there now. Stay tuned. Uh, you guys, I love sitting by the Louvre, honestly. I don't know what it is about this place, but it just really makes the magic of Paris come to life for me. It just feels so good being here. I think I might even try and stay long enough to watch the sunset, um, but uh, it feels so good to be back here. I don't know why I don't come more often, but honestly, I only come over here every once in a while. Oh, it feels so good to be back here. And now I think I'm gonna try and self-shoot here too, because I mean, I have all my stuff. I might as well try, right? get some new pictures by the Louvre. So uh, let me try and do that real quick. Never missed a year, put in blood, sweat, and tears. No one told me you get older and your childhood disappear. When push come to shove, a technical felon. I tried to say I ain't give a f but the karma way hit me up. Forever shouting Kobe when I put up a shot. RIP to him and DJ Mamba mentality means that nothing worth it come easy. This shit ain't overnight, but I'm in my prime. So homies think outside the box. Don't they mind. Uh, but I am so glad that I decided to come out today because honestly, at first I was like, uh, I have so much editing to do. I should probably stay in. Um, but I'm so glad I ended up just coming out because I definitely needed this day and I'm also trying to make a list of you know feel good moments like what are those moments where I feel so good and actually when I was at the cafe I journaled for a bit um, I listened to just one of these kind of um, really inspiring thought leaders that I listen to all the time and I was like this feels good like this is my jam just chilling out having tea having a crepe um, doing my thing like that felt so good so I'm so glad that I did that it was also super cool to see uh, Arc de Triomphe wrapped and now ending the day at one of my favorite spots in Paris Ugh, I needed this so much it does mean I'll probably be up all night editing <laughs> but it was so worth it it really was all right well speaking of editing I should probably head back home fingers crossed I'm not up until 3 in the morning um, but this was so nice. This is such a good day. On their minds, my shorty talking chakras in when he all aligned. It felt like when I sold out the Roxy, all the heads online. Couldn't believe Gave me an ultra boost of my confidence. All I'm missing is the Adidas sponsorship. Oh my gosh, also, fun fact. Um, so back in the day, like I want to say this must have been like 2018, um, I was having the worst insomnia. So I will never forget, I got on the train at like 5 6 in the morning and came to this area and was self-shooting, like literally right here, because I wanted to go to the Louvre, but the Louvre for some reason wasn't open yet, so I literally came to this open space, set up my tripod, and uh, had my remote shooter, and I was just clicking away. People were walking by like, what is this girl doing? But I was like, I'm about to get these shots. Oh my gosh, I will literally never forget that moment. But actually, before I head home, this looks cool. It's like a little pop-up museum. Let's see if I can check it out. So for real, should I run the east? You know, just run the west. We'll probably have a dice game and divvy up with left. Murakami is Craig Green. All on my body. I scooped the mommy and yeah, had me almost turned in the lights, please. But I'm staying focused. I seen ambition die too young among the dopest. We went from two boys to the billboards. Join a flu game. Oh, and there's even some more over here. I think this might be something different though. Wow, and I think these pieces come from all over the world because I see one from the US, it looks like, one from Singapore I saw over there, one from England. Wow, this one's from California, New York. This is pretty cool. Now let me stop, I know I gotta go home because I got a lot to do. All right, but now off to go edit for real this time. So it's the very next day and I'm on my way to this crystal shop in the 10th um, because it's my friend's birthday. Uh, we're celebrating tonight. Wanted to get her a little something and figured I'd get her a crystal. So I'm on my way there right now. And what the hell is that? 
And oh my gosh, super early this morning, like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., my neighbors started blasting their music, which is so annoying. I even put in my um, AirPods, could still hear it. Oh, it was literally the worst. But anyways, spent most of the day today editing because the video that I'm working on is already like 30 minutes long. It's gonna be a really long vlog. Um, so figured I'd take a break, come out, get my friend's gift, and then head back, get dressed, and get ready for the party. All right, done and done. So I got her an amethyst. Um, it's one of my favorites too. It's one that's supposed to be super peaceful, soothing, calming, helps with stress and anxiety. And I know she has a lot going on with work. Um, so I got that for her. And then I also got two crystals for myself. I can't help myself. Whenever I go into a crystal shop, it's like I literally want everything. Um, and now I'm just gonna go to one more kind of like gift shop just to find a cute bag to put it in and a card for her. And then I'll head back home. finally made it here I'm in Hema but Jesus oh, I was like looking for this place everywhere um, I'm in Gare du Nord and it's huge but um, I found it I hope they have what I need That was literally the smallest Hema that I've ever been in and they did not have what I needed. So I think I'm just gonna head to Mono Free. Ugh. Spent all this time walking around this train station for nothing, but it's okay. I'll find what I need. Hey friends, it is now a few days later. Um, but to catch you up, so on Saturday night after I got the crystals and everything, I edited a bit and then went to a friend's birthday party that was really fun. Oh. Happy And then was up until literally like 4 a.m. editing the video for Sunday, which is why I literally did not film it all on Sunday. I was exhausted. Um, and that was a really long video. It was like a 40 minute video. I uh, definitely check that one out. It's a week in my life video. So oof, Sunday I was exhausted. And now I am actually just getting ready to clean my apartment. And oops, I just changed because I decided I'm not gonna film the clean my house with me today because I am tired. Also, it's already like, what, seven o'clock? <laughs> I'm just gonna wait on my pizza. And I, so whenever I'm about to eat something that I know I'm not supposed to eat, I always have um, activated charcoal right before. I think I need to take two, right? Let me take some of these. You guys, I'm ridiculous, but I, Really, really wanted some pizza. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. Yum. Yum. Oof, and let us all just say a prayer that my face doesn't break out. Mm-mm.
So guys, I am like running to this fashion show. <laughs> I was looking at my old emails from my burgundy blazer days and um, I saw this invite to this presentation. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go. I'm super late. I'm gonna be like at least a half hour, 40 minutes late, but figured I would check it out just to see what the scene is like during fashion week. Um, so stay tuned for that. I literally just like threw something on. Honestly, I don't even really know what I'm wearing right now, um, but I'm on my way. Was really cool I'm so glad that I went uh, my camera's about to die so if it dies while I'm talking sorry um, but I'm so glad I went and that I stayed so they they started super super late so by the time I got there they hadn't even started yet they were still on the first show um, so yeah I'm really glad I ended up going but for a second I was just like am I really gonna wait around for this sh for this show to start um, but then like 20 minutes later they started letting people in so yay Paris Fashion Week show complete and now I think I'm just gonna head home, although it's a really nice day today. I'm right um, back by Arc de Triomphe. It's a super nice day, but um, I have editing to do as always, so I think I'm gonna head back home. So I made it home and now actually I'm heading out the door to go to a birthday dinner at this place called Station F. It's a really cool place so I figured I'd take you guys with me. I don't even know, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not like a mall, but it's basically like this huge open area. It's indoors, but a huge open area that has all of these different Italian restaurants and Italian stations inside. I've only been once before, um, but I really liked it when I went there and it's a really cool place. So I figured I'd bring you guys with me. Um, so stay tuned. I'm literally running out the door right now, as always. So guys, I just got to Station F. It's really loud in here. I don't think you're going to be able to hear me at all. Um, but I just got here. I'm getting some pizza on Pakasha bread. This place is popping tonight. Probably because it's Saturday. But yeah, it's a really cool place filled with a ton of Italian food. the next day. I am on my way to this cute little cafe called Cafe Pimpin just to have a latte, chill out for a bit, um, and then I'll make my way back home to edit, edit, edit. But yeah, that's really it for today. Just having a latte, heading back home, editing. Guys, I have so much to edit. Like, and I know I say this all the time, but I've spent a lot of this week just out and about filming and things like that, so I haven't really had a chance to really sit down and get a lot of work done. I mean, I kind of started editing earlier this week, but not nearly as much as I should have done at this point. Um, so yeah, so that's it for today. Stay tuned.
So it's now the next day and I think where I left you was when I was having coffee with my friend. Um, so that was fun. And today I had brunch at Sunny in Soho, one of my favorites. Honestly, didn't really shoot that much there. Um, but it's so crazy. I was thinking about that day that I went to uh, the fashion show. And guys, how that day unfolded was so crazy. It was like I woke up, was doing some work, and I was just sitting there like, oh, it'd be really cool to like go to a fashion show or just be involved in Paris Fashion Week in some way. Um, and I was actually texting with my friend the night before about that too. And something told me to just look in my old blogger email. So I don't know if you guys remember my Burgundy Blazer days, but um, my Instagram account was the Burgundy Blazer before I switched it over to It's Tiffany Davis. And it was a lot more about like fashion and style. And I had an email address linked to that. So I was like, you know what, Tiff, why don't you check your Burgundy Blazer email to see if anyone reached out about fashion shows because that's when you were you know doing more fashion and style stuff and I looked and yeah someone had sent me an email um, a few days back about a fashion show that was happening that day at 1 p.m. and at the time that I was looking at this email it was 12 30 so I was just kind of like uh, should I go should I not I have a lot to do mm -mm 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 -mm. and I was like you know what Tiff you're in Paris you really wanted to do something or be involved in fashion week so just go even if you're a little bit late so I went there got there at like I don't know 1 45 1 30 1 40 thinking it was almost over because it was supposed to end at two they hadn't even started yet which I think I shared a bit which I think I shared um, earlier with you guys on that day and also met a really cool girl there who's um, been in Paris for about a month now and kind of I think deciding whether or not she wants to stay here and um, she invited me to her birthday dinner that night and I was like you know what why not and that's when I went to La Felicita which was that you know big um, which was that um, place with all the Italian food and it was super fun and she connected me with some of her friends and actually one of her friends friends follows me on YouTube um, so that was really cool and she was just telling me how my channel really helped inspire her to move abroad and I was like oh my god that's so cool but yeah the series of events um, of that day was just crazy like even saying it again I'm like wow it's so funny how the day unfolded but now it is Saturday I'm honestly working all day today um, had brunch earlier but now Full work mode so I'm gonna leave you guys here so thank you guys for watching this week in my life a few days in my life um, I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you next week